good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones. Represent physiques of greatness. And I just woke up. About to get ready to meet up with Vince and train some abs. So y'all stay tuned, man. Bruno, he breathing hard than a motherfucker. He getting too damn fat. Look at him. But anyway, stay tuned. Alright, before I go to the gym, I'm going to drink two cups of water and take my uh, fat burners. I'm going to take Drop Factor and I'm going to take this Johan Bind right here. Two Drop Factors, one Johan Bind, two cups of water, and then I'm going to go to the gym. 5% link in description if you happen to give a fuck. All right, homies at home met. So as you see, we kept it simple. We jumped it off with some decline crunches. It looks like a sit up, but as you see, this doesn't go all the way down. Just come down a little bit and come up and squeeze the abs. And he used 25 pounds to make it hard and challenging. Then the second exercise is gonna be twist. These are for the obliques. As you see, I lean back slightly to make some tension in my abs and I just twist at my waist. Do not twist with the arms. Make sure you twist at the waist. Do not go hella fast. Go controlled so you can actually feel those obliques and intercostals contract. I do three to four sets of this as well. Alright, the third exercise is one of my all-time favorites, the reverse crunch. You ever heard the old saying, if you want to get a six-pack, you got to get off your fat ass? Well, this is exactly what you're doing. As you notice, if you look at Vince's butt, no homo, you're going to see the butt comes off the pad. If your butt does not come off this pad, you are not doing this exercise right. I have several videos giving tutorials on how to perform this properly. This right here is one of the best lower ab exercises of all time. Now this right here is the last exercise. This is a bad motherfucker right here. A great way to burn out and finish off the lower abs. What you do is you do some leg raises with your legs straight as many as you can do. I did about 15. Do as many as you can do with your legs straight and then you do as many as you can do with your knees bent, okay? That's pretty much a super set, and it's gonna burn the fuck out of those abs. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. All right, homies and home mitts. We just got done fucking up some abs, and we did calves as well. Didn't record it because, quite frankly, a lot of y'all don't give a damn about my calf videos. Oh, I mean, you know what's kind of funny, though? Yeah. That one leg leg workout that I did? Uh-huh. Remember how much they were asking about calves? Yeah. That was the first time I've seen anybody ask about calves. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, I'll post a calf video tomorrow. I bet it won't even give a 10 views. Yeah, about 10 views. It had to be That's calves like, or something like, else. Yep. Okay. So, you know, if y'all really want to see calves or calf routine, let us know. We'll do it next time. As, yeah, how hard is it though? You do. There's only it's, like, it's only like two exercises you can do. Yeah. The only the only thing about calves is the rep ranges. Which rep range is gonna get you that that side? You hear people say low rep is best. Yeah. Hear some guys say high reps. You know, my experience, I've seen a lot of good results doing a lot of drop sets for calves. That way you get the best of both worlds. You get to go heavy, but you still get a fuckload of reps. You know, the range of motion for calves ain't but this long in order to get some good time on attention to make your set last a good while, I say do a lot of drop sets. Because like any muscle, you need heavy weight to make it grow. No such thing as a fucking lightweight muscle. All muscles need heavy weight. Some, they all need heavy ass weight and progressive overload. Anyway, I'm talking to the M-Long. What you got, what you sipping on, Vince? MTS Way with a little bit of bio growth. All right, MTS Way with a little bit of bio growth. 5% link in description and 25 percent link in description for those that happen to give a fuck me i'm sipping on some bcas man you ate before you came right a little bit right just oatmeal just a little oatmeal yeah, just, just something to keep me going you know let me, let me tell let me talk to people man as y'all may or may not know for the record i don't eat shit when i come in for cardio i wake up first thing in the morning take me a big ass 16 ounce cup of water take my fat burners take my yohan bind how yohan bay how the fuck you pronounce that shit Fill my jug with some BCAs and come on in your stomach. It's crazy because people look at me like I got a fucking 
dick on my forehead when I tell them I come in here and do cardio to empty stomach. Like, I'm kind of broke. Anyway, let me tell you this, man. <laughs> some, guy, some guy actually tried arguing saying I should do it on an empty stomach. It just did you do it best for you? Exactly. Me, me personally, I feel I'm able to burn more fat, burn more calories for some effects. The fat burners in your hambine doesn't have to go through any food. You know what I mean? I come on, I get on the empty stomach, the fat burners hit me in like 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, I instantly feel those fat burners. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I, I get sweaty easier. I, I got more energy because of the caffeine and the pills. You know what I mean? I was wondering why you had all the energy today. You know, I, I can't really energize. Like, yeah, like extra, I have extra energize. You know, because, because I take the fat burner in the stomach. It's crazy because people on YouTube can tell you, go 16 hours without eating. You have an eight hour window to eat <laughs> and nobody bats a fucking eye. But I tell you, take your fucking pills and get me stomach and do your cardio, everybody loses their fucking minds. Yeah, we over here uh, at the official POG restaurant, Red Tiss of Love what's over here. On? What's Chris going Jones on, man? In the house. Yeah, what's your name, brother? <laughs> Andrew. Yeah, man, nice to meet hey, you, man. You too, Thanks for coming to say hi to me, man. Hey, no problem, no problem. All right, home is a home mess. It's time to show you what we got to eat, man. First meal of the day for me. Second meal of the day for Vince. Yep. I got some banana pecan pancakes. I don't see a pecan though, do you? They're inside the pancakes, right? They better be. <laughs> I paid for it. Um, with strawberries and, and banana on top. Some egg whites and turkey bacon. It looks delicious. Oh yeah, with some sugar-free syrup on deck. And some non-sweet, unsweet tea. With the... With the spot of me, right? Yep. It's all <laughs> up and everything. But yeah, show me what you got. All right. All right, I got two bowls of grits on deck. No pancakes, just want some grits today. I, got, I love grits, guys. I will have to admit, way more people admitted oh, to like it. Yes, I, that, told you, man, I didn't expect yeah, that many. White people like grits too, man. <laughs> and all white everything. This is all white everything, man. White plates, white grits, white egg whites. You should be love your whites. All white everything. <laughs> And you know, I got my spot of meat in this bitch. No butter, no nothing, man. Well, anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the ab video and us ranting a little bit. As always, thank you for the support, man. That, that pre workout's coming out very soon, guys. We gonna tell them about the fitness thing yet? No. LA? Oh, I, we'll make a video for that. Okay. I still know all the details. I know most of them. Well, uh, yeah, I, I gotta show them. We'll to make you. an announcement, let them know where they can meet us, you know. Mm -hmm. and, Oh yeah, guys, when we do go to L.A., keep in mind we're not going to be fucking recording like usual. It's, it's going to be mostly vlogs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then when we get home, we're going to take the footage and make workout videos. So bear <coughs> with us that week, okay? Yeah. I want to hear her watch the comments. Oh, post my footage of working out. This is going to be the fuck up. <laughs> All right? It'll probably be about two weeks, like, before anything good I comes out. I when we post a title for a video and then people complain. Like, let's say I post a fucking uh, shopping with Chris video showing groceries. Hey, we didn't see workout footage. Bitch, you saw a motherfucking title before you clicked on it, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I post a video while I went to Vegas, right? Yeah. And I think I posted a picture going to the, after, to the after party and had a good time. Yeah. Hey, we need to see more workout footage. Motherfucker, bitch, you saw a motherfucking title before you clicked on it. Don't, click, don't you fucking click on my goddamn video and complain about what the fuck you see. <laughs> I can see if I put ad video and then you clicked on it and there's no ad showing. Yeah. You know, Same thing with the with one of my videos and stuff they yeah. see it's you see the motherfucking title you see the motherfucking thumbnail don't fucking click on the fucking video if you didn't want to fucking see it <laughs> you done chris i need to eat that's why i'm bad yeah, i'm you, hungry you, you, i'm a little irritated <laughs> don't forget to like my shit comment subscribe i'll back at your boy